It's payday. And this note sold for $19,800. And it's the smallest little thing I'm going to show you guys in this video that allowed it to sell for so much money. The last thing I want to happen is for you guys to spend this bill or sell it for too little when in reality it's worth a whole lot more money. So here's the thing, guys. We need to go over a few key factors on this bill that are important. First of all, this is a 1928 $10 bill. So they used to have large size bills before 1928, look something like this, and then they transitioned into small size bills in 1928. So this is the first year they ever produced these, which is pretty neat. Next, this is a numeral type bill. You can tell you have a numeral type by the large number five in the district seal on the left there. Typically, that's going to be a letter and not a number. Something you need to keep your eyes peeled for is the prefix on the serial number, which is the first letter there, that letter E. That is the fifth letter in the alphabet. So the district number and that prefix letter always go hand in hand. If, for example, you had a large number one on the left instead of a five, then you should have have an A at the start of your serial number. If the letter and the number are ever different, that's a huge error and it could be worth a ton of money. Next, this bill was graded by PMG a very fine 35. So what that means is that this bill has a good amount of folds and potentially damage on the bill. What you need to know is that the better the condition the bill is in, the more money it's going to be worth. So if you find a very rare bill, keep it safe, keep it flat because every fold will dramatically decrease the value. I'll tell you right now, if this bill was uncirculated, meaning no folds, it would have brought so much more money. So let's flip the bill over. So this is why this bill sold for so much money. It's because some collectors like to call this a $15 bill. This is a dual denomination or a double denomination error. One of my favorite types of bills. So what do you do if you come across a bill like this? You need to get the full value of the bill. So look, this is what I recommend. First of all, don't take it to a pawn shop. Nothing against pawn shop owners if you're listening, but pawn shops are really good for being able to buy anything. You want to find a specialized expert in either coin or paper money. You may have a coin shop near you. I recommend going to at least three different shops, getting each of their opinions to make sure that they're all giving you the same ballpark range of a price. Go to the one that offers you the most money and sell it there. If this video was helpful, give it a like and share it with a friend and I'll see you in the next one.